Oh, this is just a quick update on the the big SDKF7 German half track. I was specifically asked for an update by somebody who looked at the uh, the muskets hanging on the kitchen wall video, which featured the half track. Um, currently undergoing a repaint. It's had a strip down and repaint. Uh, what I'm currently spraying in, if you keep keep an eye out on eBay, it's called the Army Painter. In this case, it's Primer Desert Yellow. They also do Primer Olive, and they also do a Primer Grey, which is suitable for British, American, and other German tanks. One tin like that normally does four 118 inch scale radio control tanks. The size of this, one tin like that, does half of the vehicle. So I'm awaiting some more paint to come in before it's completed. Anyway, it's been stripped down, the tracks have been taken off. Um, I've had plastic card added to the wheels just to make it look more spoke like a German vehicle. I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? Hang on a sec, I'll just, I'll just turn that around and I'll get the camera up. Wait a minute. Right, so what I've done is, I've added plastic card to the wheels. These wheels were off a commercial uh, a conveyor belt. So I've added plastic cards to make them look more, in inverted commas, German. The front... The front wheels are off, it's got fully articulated suspension, that is a handmade front wheel hub that goes onto, onto there, with obviously the wheel attached, as and when. It's undergone a respray to Odin's tan. These are the wheels off the front. These are what I mentioned in the in the video when I first showcased this, this vehicle. They're off um, tyre manufacturers glass ashtrays. That's what they are. So they're the wheels for the front. And um, as you come around it, bits of plastic have been added for the non-opening doors. These act as hinges around the back. This big plastic sheet card has been scored in places. That's going to be the non-opening back doors when I get finished. And I may do some upholstery for the seats. The seats are just turned wood, painted. I may put upholstery on them and I'll accessorise it with uh, one six scale bits and pieces. So that, that's where I'm currently at with the big German half track. The other side of the vehicle is yet to be spray painted. Und underneath yet to be completed as well. But yeah, it's coming along all right. And as I say, if you're going to spray paint these uh, radio control things, colour primer, desert yellow, by the Army Painter. Really good value for money. It's really good stuff. Desert yellow, they also do a German looky like a grey. They also do a, an, an American Army looky like olive. They also do a British Army looky like a greeny olive colour. Really good value. Four of them, I mean one of them, sorry, does four normal size 116 RC tanks. And as well as having, put the light on, hang on a sec. As well as having a big German half track in the kitchen and a big German pack 40 and muskets on the wall. If we come over here, That's swords, and that's where my RC tanks live, in the kitchen. So that's, that's part of my collection of 116 scale radio control tanks. Maybe I shouldn't have knocked the light on, Wait a second. I'll, I'll knock the light off again, and maybe be able to see them better. Nope, that's even friggin' worse. And then knock them back on again. So that's my collection of 1 16th radio control tanks up there. And as we go around here, that's the rest of them. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. Tanks. Anyway, so that's where I'm at with the big tank anyway, the big, the big half track. So we'll see you for another.